In this video, we provide the solution to question number 11 for a practice exam number four for math 1210. We're asked to find the absolute maximum and minimum values of the function f of x equals one half sine of two x on the interval from zero to two pi thirds. And so we to find these absolute maximum and minimum values, we have to first investigate the critical numbers. So let's calculate the derivative of f to find these critical numbers. So f prime of x, uh, the derivative is going to be 1 half times 2 times cosine of 2x by the usual chain rule. That is, the derivative is equal to cosine of 2x. And we have to investigate when that's equal to 0. Well, when is cosine equal to 0? Well, cosine, so we get that 2x is going to equal, cosine is equal to 0 at the top of the unit circle and the bottom of the unit circle. So we're going to get pi halves plus you know, a um, multiple of, well, let's think about that for a second. You have pi halves. You also get three pi halves. So if you add pi to it or subtract pi, uh, we get that the solutions are going to be pi halves plus two or plus pi k. That's what two, that will give us two x. We have to divide by two and get that x is equal to pi force plus pi halves uh, k. So for example, we have solutions at pi force at pi, uh, at three pi force would be the next possible one, right? And then add another pi halves to that, we're going to get five pi fourths. We can stop once we get past two pi thirds, which uh, would notice that five pi fourths is too big, uh, but four pi fourths would be in there. Even three pi fourths is too big, right? So this is our only critical number. Now, this doesn't mean that the extremum happens at the critical number, but we have to make sure that it fits inside of the domain that we've constructed here. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to build a sign uh, t-chart, excuse me, for all of your x-coordinates. Uh, we're going to list the boundaries of the interval, so 0 and 2 pi thirds. And we also need to include the critical numbers, if there are any, so we get the critical number pi force. And then we're going to put these into the function f of x, the original function right here. So if we take 1 half sine of 2 times 0, right? 2 times 0 is 0, sine of 0 is 0, 1 half times 0 is 0, so we're going to get 0 as the value right there. Uh, for the next one, we're going to get 1 half sine of 2 times pi fourths is pi halves. Pi halves, well, if you take sine of pi halves, that's going to give you 1, so we actually get this value of 1 half. Uh, and then for the last one, we're going to do 2 pi thirds there, put that into our function, 1 half sine of 2 times 2 pi thirds, that's going to give us 4 pi thirds which be aware that four pi thirds, where is that in terms of the unit circle? Uh, that actually will be in the, excuse me, that'll be in the third quadrant. Sine is gonna be negative in that situation. Um, and so we're gonna end up with negative one half times the sine of pi thirds, which is root three over two. So we end up with a negative root three over four. Um, as this last value. So the largest value present is going to be the maximum, which we see is right here. This is where the absolute maximum is for our function. The absolute maximum value will be y equals one half. It's obtained at pi force. And then the absolute minimum value is going to be this one right here, negative three, uh, negative square root of three over four. This is going to be our absolute minimum. And this is obtained at the, at the number x equals 2 pi thirds.